When Harvey hit, Jacob was working for NBC News. The network sent him here to cover the storm that had devastated his hometown. One of the areas Jacob covered was Friendswood, and he's back there tonight working for us now to show us how that community is doing one year later. Jacob? One year ago, I remember right here at this street, I was in a boat and we were going house to house doing rescues with the police department and with citizens. It was incredible to see. And while everybody we've talked to in Friendswood is so thrilled to be back, the reality is that many are not. This is one of the homes that is being raised, but many homes are also vacant for sale and the recovery is far from over. They had no time to pack or even say goodbye. Bad. This is awful. Water nearly to the roof in some areas, nonstop rescues for days. Nearby Wedgwood Elementary became an impromptu shelter. Donations filled the hallways and even the front office. More than 800 evacuees slept here, the principal says, some of them for weeks. Madeline Berry. One year later, school is back in session, but the recovery is far from over. But I remember a ghost town around here when I was over here starting. It took decades for Kenneth Bowman and Sandy Garcia to build their lives here, and minutes for most of it to disappear. I mean, I lost a lot. My son's school stuff, um, you know, 42 years. Boom, gone. They just finished staining new cabinets. It's yeah, taken no nearly color. a year to rebuild their home by themselves. But as much as they lost, they say, even more was gained. And, and closeness. Oh my gosh, we're all so close in the neighborhood. I mean, everybody helped each other. The reality is that it's taken so long for so many of these people, for many reasons, to get back into their homes. Many of the neighbors, we're told, have just started moving back in in the last couple of months. And a note on that closeness, that family we talked to that lived here for more than 40 years, they said during Harvey they met their neighbors who they hadn't known in all that time. They're embarrassed to say that, but they're so happy to know them, and the closeness is as if they've known them their entire lives. Reporting live in Friendswood, Jacob Rascone, KPRC, Channel 2 News. It's good to see them finally getting back on their feet. Jacob. Yes, new relationships, and as we can see, new home heights. Jacob, thank you.